Hello guys, good afternoon. Let's discuss one topic, one example. Report the following and you can see a one question here. And this topic in a simple word, we call it direct speech. Direct or indirect speech. Direct speech or indirect speech. So many rules, regulations from this topic I have uh, discussed with you and told you to be in touch with this topic because this topic will give you five marks. If you have any you know, difficulties, you have to go, go to the rules, regulations and then study every day. Apart from that, there is no option. And if you do well in this topic, because in your views, uh, second year, so only one topic, little difficult. So if you cover up here, entire thing, it will be easy uh, for you to score around 96 or 98. Alright. So let's see how we can solve this question. <clears throat> Alright, students, so let's see how we can solve this question. We have four dialogues. Laura, Gonzalo, Laura and Gonzalo. Laura's dialogue. Will you go to your bench tomorrow? Gonzalo, no, I will come here. Laura says, what will you bring for the birds? Gonzalo, I will bring some crumbs for the birds. Crumbs, seeds. Crumbs, nothing but seeds. Okay, so let's see the rules here four things three things also if you remember well and good one is change what are the changes you have to do change in pronoun one change in verb change in tense and change in the form of time Our time is four, is four changes we can make. So right now we see the first one, pronoun. What are the pronoun forms we have to change here? Oh, sorry, sorry sir. So this is the pronoun. Will is not the pronoun. You, pronoun form. Your, pronoun. I, pronoun. And then you, pronoun. I, pronoun. Alright, so these words are pronoun forms. Next, the change you have to do with the verb form, verb, alright. So the verb, verb here, we have, well, I will come here. So verb, will, verb, no, it's not, it's helping verb, sorry. Come, verb, go, verb, bring, verb. And also here we bring work. Alright. And the last one we have time. Time is given here in the form of tomorrow. So these four changes, four changes take place when you solve that uh, when you solve in indirect speech. Alright, students, so let us see in what manner we are going to change these forms. Okay. <clears throat> so four. After four point, fifth point is important because whenever we are asking a question, if we have a question in the sentence, if we have a question in the sentence, you can use if or whether. You can use if or whether. Now where, where do we have question in the sentence? We have questions here. Where is that? Will you go to your bench? So here, at this condition we can use if. And one more here, uh, what will bring? No, okay, no. Only here we can use if for weather. Or W sound, W H, no change, no change, no change here. Okay, so where is that W S sound? What? So W S W S meaning is what, when, where, who, whom, whose, why? What W S sounds? So, there is no change here. 
to what you can write as it is. There are certain rules if you be in touch with the topic, you can understand day by day. But suddenly if you do the things after a long time, nothing is going to work out on indirect speech. Alright, so let's now solve this question. So be with me on the same page, I am going to solve this question for you. Okay. Laura Gondala, will you go to your bench tomorrow? It means what now? Laura. So this is what the now? Answer me how to write. Okay. Laura asked. Laura asked Gonzalo. Always when you are writing names, remember that you are writing names in the form of capital letter. So I have written here capital Z. Okay. And this one you need to pronounce Gonzalo. Okay. Laura asked Gonzalo. Laura asked Gonzalo. We have a question here. If, if he would, remember, when you have if or whether in a sentence, after, the word should be subject, not the helping verb. Many students get confused here. After if or whether, don't use the auxiliary form. Don't use the helping verb form. After if or whether, use subject. Okay? Right. So, Laura asked Margaro if he would go to his bench, his bench, tomorrow, his bench, the next day. Gonzalo answered, Gonzalo answered, Laura, that, Laura asked Gonzalo, sorry, we have to use that here, Gonzalo answered Laura, that, no, no, he, I convert to he, he would, he would come, he would come here convert to there, he would come there. Then, what, Laura, what will you bring for the words? Laura questioned, Laura questioned Gonzalo, Gonzalo that W sound, what, no change. Laura questioned Gonzalo that what would, what would he bring? What would he bring for the birds? For the birds. Gonzalo. Gonzalo replied that. Gonzalo replied that. <coughs> He would be convert to would. He would he would bring he would bring some crumbs. Some crumbs. Crumb means as I told you seeds. Pigeons or crow eat seeds. Nothing but in English we call crumbs. Some crumbs for the birds for the birds. As you can see here, what are the changes we have done in the answer? Okay. First one, will, will convert it to good, you convert it to he, your, your convert it to his, and tomorrow we have converted next day, the next day. So what are the areas in first sentence we have changed? One, two, 
3 and 4. So these four areas we have changed in the sentence. Next one, Gondano answered. So what were the changes we have done here? No, I mean, come here. No, I mean, come here. No, same one as it is. He will convert to would. Come, no change. Here converted to there. So four, uh, five, six, seven. Seven changes we have done. Now, third sentence. Rara question. What he questioned? What no change will? Will convert to would. You convert to he. Bring no change. For the words no change. Okay. Then Gonzalo replied that I. Here. I convert to he. Will convert to would. Bring no change. Some crumbs for the words no change. And if you see the numbers I have written, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. In a paragraph, we have changed 10 words. And these 10 words are noun, helping verbs, tenses, time, and if asking a question, if for weather. So if you practice in this way, you can improve in your speech day by day. For like students. Okay, so I'll give you one more question apart from this and I want you to practice at home. So let us see the next question. 